Ooh, it was a blue rare that cost two, but it was not. Was not, in fact, the uh, stowaway. This pack is also just kind of bad, eh? I suppose I'm supposed to take a blue card here. I don't know. Neville Gast is fine. I almost like flip the switch or locked in the cemetery over it. I don't really think Trescadeca files all that good. Nah, I don't think this is worth. Just take the Neville and say, go next. All right. I'm going to follow up with the Scab Wrangler then. Um, if it's not the best card in the pack, it's close. But given that we just did just take a blue card, it seems like an easy pick. Brigand's good, Defenestrate's good, Awakener's good. Pretty easy scabbo. I mean... It's right there. It's right there, chat. I can just take it. I could also take flip the switch and just stay in blue. This would be a very, very decent pickup. Yeah, yeah, and no, I do think Creeper is the best card in the pack. All right, God damn it, I'll take the stupid Creeper. It's not like I wanted to. But now I am regretting not just taking the damn flip the switch as we get an ambush here. Yeah, I'm not going to take like sentry over ambush just because I took the creeper. You mean green blue, not green black? No, I don't think Weaver's very good. Oh, okay. I might just take the uh, silversmith now. I don't think I'm taking any green cards. Guess Evolving Wilds. Could take Flare of Faith, I guess, but... I don't think Stormrider Spirit's a consideration. Alright, I mean, I'm pretty happy I took the Silversmith. We have Revelry here, Trapper, and a Party Captain. I've actually been really, really happy with Revelry. I kind of want to take it over the Trapper. Nah, it's one of these two cards, and then these are secondary. You know what, I'm going to take Revelry here. Witch, Candle Trap, or Silver Bolt, all nice. We're probably moving out of this plan. I think I'm just going to take the Witch with the Wrangler and the Silversmith. Okay, we will take Spider here, because we're not going to main deck Exorcism. Still a small chance of playing green, I suppose. I'm not even considering the uh, Shady Traveler in that last pack. If we end up in the Heavy Disturb deck... Wow, we wield the flip! Hey, we got rewarded anyways. Wield the card that I was potentially going to take. Okay. It's fine. Hmm. Hmm. Tracker versus Farmhand. Those are the two choices. Because right now my white is not that impressive. The thing is, this rare is not like that good, all things considered. But the tracker with the creeper might be better than the farmhand and the rest of the white is the thing. I'm going to go ahead and take the farmhand here, but only because, again, the tracker is not that impressive. Wow, this pack is stacked. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, what a pack. That's gross. I'm going to take the Dawn Guard, but obviously we're passing a lot of very good cards there. I think this card is a trap. And we're just going to take another Silversmith. Although, 
My Sunset Revelries get a lot worse when I have a deck like this that's just mono creatures. There goes a farmer. Makes me sad. I guess I'm not even locked into blue, am I? Wow, am I supposed to take like a Static Awakener here? I think that might be right. Because I don't need either of those white cards. And we're not taking any of those green cards. Black-white is the deck that wants the Occultist, if I'm going to. Okay. Yeah, Seed Zombie with all these creatures is good. Damn, that's a late Falcon Abomination. Alright, this is the true turning point. Am I gonna go white-black or white-blue? I have a card in each color that I can take. It's very close either way. I'm gonna take the A-bomb. The A-bomb's too good. Yeah, because remember, this is the pack that had a bunch of blue and white. So we can take Barrage or Consider here. I actually don't mind taking Barrage. And the A-bomb wield. Okay, well... So did the startle too, but th again, this was another pack that had a ton of good blue and white. Wow, 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 wow. All right, GG. We're good. We're Gucci now. The Sunset Revelries might not be their best, but this Scab Wrangler is looking really good. Ooh, Memory de Deluge. How's it going? Eh, it's fine. Surprisingly, we're not really doing the graveyard theme that blue-white normally is. In fact, I have zero of the graveyard card. I have zero disturb, zero flashback. This is, this is best of one. Decided to go into the mines. Yeah, we'll take search party since locked in the cemetery. Doesn't really look good here. I'm still questioning the revelries, but... Ritual of Hope. Bolt, Startle, Ritual of Hope, A-Bomb, all good. A little bit tempted to take the Ritual. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna just take the flyer though. It's too good to go like Falcon Abomination into one of our two Silversmiths. Another farm hand here. Wow. Is there a chance I could wield a beach? Probably not, but. Jesus. Oh my god. Another Wrangler, another A bomb, another Revelry. <laughs> How many flips is too many flips? I don't know how often I'm going to be able to hold up three mana, though. Three abominations, three flip the switches? I think we might do that. Another search party's good. <laughs> no, I, I will not take the fourth flip the switch. I will take the candle trap this time. This looks solid. Especially for best of one. I don't know why I do this to myself constantly. But. Okay, I mean, Castaways is great, but I don't think that's what we want. Startle's like a solid trick, plus card draw, plus it makes another zombie for double Scab Wranglers. So I think I'm going to end up cutting maybe one Revelry, maybe both. 
In fact, maybe I just yeah, maybe I just cut both revelries and run that locked in the cemetery now. Ooh, we did get the ritual on the wheel too. I don't think I would splash the siege zombie here. Even though I actually have two ways to splash the siege zombie. I can probably get away with 16 lands. Our curve's pretty low. Well, I guess I have a million three drops, but I have two farm hands and a startle which cycles. Nah, I think the barrage is actually worth keeping when I have triple flip the switch. Just more things to do if I'm not countering. It might be slightly greedy, but I think 16 lands is doable. I don't, I don't know if I want the Evolving Wilds in this deck, though. I guess I do, because it gives me locked in the cemetery. So maybe we go 8, 7, 1. Something like that's probably okay. I think I like the trip flip. Trip flip sounds better than dub flip, right? Alright, I need some water. Near me. Oosh. Mm. This sounds actually pretty awkward. Ain't gonna be a mulligan, but kind of strange. So didn't we go down to 16 land? The hell. knows about that blue-green lifestyle. It's not a color pair, it's a way of life, chat. Alright, I'm done to trade. They might have better things to do with their mana than just bring out a 5-mana 2-2 flyer. Or not. <laughs> We drew another land. Uh, if it resolves. I didn't want to fire it off main phase though. Ooh, they scared! They didn't even attack. Untapped should be active. Uh, if it's not, you might just have to refresh since I did swap um, extensions. Alright. Two lands on the bottom, although I guess I'm going to shuffle again in a second here when I play out this other farm hand. Could be worth holding on to the Griff, but because a 3 4 flyer is actually pretty good right now. This gives us Coven, so all of our Coven cards are online. Actually, all of our cards in our hand are Coven cards. Oh, besides that, I guess the two, these ones. Doesn't look like we're gonna have an issue casting this memory from the Griff. Hello, Nose Strips.
Oh? I guess I'll just take it. Taking a break? Uh, no, we, we did the torches today, so... That's all I really wanted to do. Green blue versus white blue is going to be a pretty grindy game, I think. Is my data beat currently being mined? Isn't it always mined? Just what I needed! Ten of my sixteen lands. Oh boy. Gas into gas into gas? I hope so. No, but what if I love somebody else? What if I don't love you back? What if this is a one-way street? What if instead I love... Patrick? Maybe I love Flouncy. I certainly don't love Maze of Death, but... In fact, what if there's like slight disdain? Jeez! Holy smokes. This is game one? Well, it's best of one, so yeah, it is also game one. <laughs> No coven, yeah I do. Oh, they don't, yeah. They have four two power creatures and three three power creatures and the one creature in their graveyard is also a three power creature. <laughs> That's not very nice. They eat my flyer and then I... start getting wrecked by their flyer. They represented having a trick last time. So I think I'm gonna go like... I guess I could just double block one of their threes. No, no, I can ritual first and then flip. But I am one mana short of being able to ritual flip and hold up switch. That's the problem. Activating farmhand first is bad. You would want to ritual first, then activate. So I think what I'm going to do here is just double block the sentry. What are you... you're smoking, right? If I ritual first, all of my creatures get two power. That would then keep Coven, right? I would have a five, a three, and a four. Trees in land, they a 38 month sub.
I'm not blocking with the Cathar here, so... I might be taking a lot of damage, but... I'm not blocking. We're actually in a pretty rough spot. Yeah, I know! Where are the revelries now, streamer? What the hell? I'm the deck that's supposed to be uh, playing on a bunch of creatures. So awkward that I don't get to hold up memory here. But I might just have to fire off the Sun Gold Barrage on the Rejuvenator. I'm sure they're going to play some larger threats eventually, but for now I think it's probably... Especially if it attacks, I'm probably going to. Yeah, that's fine. It's a lot more palatable to take uh, all this damage when I still have a life linker on the board, but clearly not the greatest situation. So they're just passing? I hope I draw another flip. Uh, okay. The Shell Dog! They gave me the 32 months of Prime. Yep, expected. Oh, whoops, I meant to tap a flyer there. Haha. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. So before blockers are declared, I'm going to tap their creepers so they have one less mana. I'm wondering if I need to keep my life linker alive. How do I win if I don't? It's also pretty nice to be able to cast this 7 mana spell. If this was also keeping my Wrangler alive, I think I would cast the Ritual, but... I think we just have to memory here and hope. That's fine. That's less fine. That's a lot of creatures. Ooh, baby! Speaking of a lot of creatures. Wow, if I can get Coven, this is so much damage. Though I don't have that many ways to get Coven, I guess. Ah. Okay. Barf. Well, the bright side is we still get to do a bunch of trading since uh, we have a, a combat trick of our own. So it's not like a straight up eat. In fact, this wasn't that that bad even, was it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we needed those earlier. Good beats. Oh! Oh! 
Take that! Technically not dead. My favorite kind of not dead. But now I'm dead. I needed to have drawn something there. Oh, wait, wait! Now hold up, hold up! Are all my scab wranglers gone? They are. I don't think I have any other creatures, and I lost my pump, so I might as well make this one mana. Well, I still- oh my god, this stupid animation. I still need to draw something off of this captain. Yeah, well. Ooh, boy, that was a lot of land. Good game. But the best news is, this is best of one, so I get a chance to redeem my- Oh. I mean, this is a keeper. Pretty awkward draw, but... With one land, we have two drop, three drop. With one land, ideally an island next turn. That would be swell. Depends. Sometimes there's a lot of sideboarding, sometimes there's very little. Like in the previous best of three deck I had, I had essentially no sideboard because I drafted poorly, I'll say. It might have been right to just pass with flip the switch and try to leverage my position. Of, uh, well, that is to say, they aren't, they are going to be on heavier spells, but, I mean, that's a really good lock to the cemetery target, so we should be okay. In fact, I think I'm just going to pass here. Take my seven. Depending on what to do, uh, we might flip, or we might memory. Two, two flyer. We're going to be okay with that because we just want to hit some lands here. Candle Trap also pretty good. Definitely taking one land. We're going to Cemetery the Behemoth. It might just be Cemetery Behemoth and hold up Flip. In which case I'll go ahead and take the Candle Trap. Cemetery Pass They have so many um, Fewer resources So, yeah Nothing? What? Okay I can sit back. I have plenty of things to do. Delicious. Very good draw. I mess up here. I go like this. Still attacking, huh? Ooh. 
have Coven here, but... I can actually go for the kill if I want to. I guess I will. That was a strange game. They had a ton of cards in hand, but they weren't casting anything. Um, as I am the control player, you know, I want to be blah blah blah. Does that make sense? Yeah. To magic player, sure. To an average Joe? Bruh. Come on. No, no, no. This is not a magic stream. I learned how to play magic yesterday. I'm a D2 streamer. Somebody taught me. Gin and Tonic, thank you for that 15 months of Prime. So close to a year. You're right. Awakening Zone, 42 months. Hello, friend. With that primo. All right, what do we want to do here? Which of these three drops delights me more? If I play the A-bomb, I can tap something. But the Dawn Guard has a lot of value. Because I can go like Dawn Guard and then pass the following turn, flip and deluge. I'm happy to get the Dawn Guard out online, I guess. I might be taking four damage here, though. Well, yeah, I taught all of the players at Worlds how to play Magic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I am the sensei of all the players that played in Worlds this past weekend. But that doesn't necessarily mean I taught them how to play Magic. Just being a sensei means more than that, you know? Could be more of a philosophical side of things. It doesn't have to be about a specific game. Alright, I'm kind of getting smashed here, aren't I? Um... I guess let's get in for three. And I will play the bomb. We did the Uber. I did the Ubers already. They're done. They're over. Ms. Lizzie, thank you for that six months of prime. Pipe, 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 pipe. I'm going to lose because I've played this game terribly. Is Crusader any good for Ubers? What is Crusader? Oh boy. Uh, an 1820 Barb Torch. Actually, do I even need to tap that? I don't. Well, hmm. Actually, I don't mind taking four. And we'd ru Given that I have Ritual in my hand, I think I want to. Um, keep my flyer. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so one, two, three. So if I go play these two, attack. I think I can try to race. They have the tapper of their own, but... I mean, if they block the three, three, I'm going to have to use the ritual, but I think that's okay. I think they're probably not going to block. Surprise. It's going to be a reverse Uno. Maybe they have a Ritual of Hope and I'm going to just die.
No, no Ritual of Hope. I really need to draw a land here to turn on Coven. Block with Zombie. No! <sighs> Do I still win? One, two, they have three blockers. They go block, 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 two, four, six. No, a land one! Kenji, why didn't you draw a land, you big dum dum? Kenji, you fool. All right, so how do we win from here? We're still not dead next turn, right? That doesn't matter. They, they would need to let in f uh, four creatures to die. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. All right, so I guess I tap the fleshy. These. Disubi, thank you for the six months. I need to leave up both flyers because I can't let them attack with the interloper and then tap my one flyer, you know? Still a close game. I think I've already I would have already died by now if they had a pump spell, so unless they drew it specifically this turn. And if they drew a flare of faith, then I'm gonna die here. Oh, they did. Well that sucks, they drew flare of faith. Good beats. Oh wait, I oh, know, I was gonna say, maybe I can let the zombie through, but then uh, the zombie already has a baseline amount of power. Yeah, GG's. God, so they drew it this turn? That sucks. Ah, that really sucks. I'm sure I made a, a couple mistakes there though. There were a couple turns where I boned that up. All right, we got our plan. Two drop, flip, three drop, whatever. Flash three drop with our flip is nice. Is this the third black-white deck we've played against in a row? Oh man, we're on the draw too. Boo, so much worse for these flips. Brutal, dude! Wow, that's actually terrible, as now I can't just pass the turn. Holy smokes! Being on the draw... Uh, we're gonna lose because we were on the draw here. I have to, like, main phase this. That's so disgusting. Nah, if I'm on the draw, I play turn two Wrangler, turn three I pass, I hold up flip the switch, when we insta-win. And now if they double spell, we just insta-lose. <laughs> Do I have a way to deal with the Brute?
I mean, I guess I can turn it off with Locked in the Cemetery, but then it still, it still becomes this nasty enchantment that uh, has that ability. Besides just being a 3-3 first strike right up. Yeah, I'm gonna pay. It's gonna be hitting me for three if I don't do this anyways. Nah, because if none of their creatures die after this, then it doesn't matter. I'm really thankful they didn't have another creature to flash in end of turn there, because that would have been gross. Because if I flip, then I'm forced to... Uh, wow, they must have just drawn that. Oh no, they're gonna double spell this turn, maybe. Eh, still gross. They double spell and then the Cathar flips, or whatever it's called. Root flips. Oh my, are you kidding? Uh, I don't think I have a, no, I don't think I have any bounce in this deck. Wait, why did their unruly mob not get bigger? Oh, never mind, I see. Can't believe I'm gonna go one and three here. That was fine. Doesn't that thing have first strike? Yeah, I can't attack there. They're gonna double spell again? <laughs> Wait, they're splashing Geist Wave? Oh my god. <sighs> Goodbye, 3-3. Three, three. I need to draw like another Wrangler here or something. This Cathar is so brutal! It's a good draw. I think I have to attack. Wouldn't mind drawing a land so that I can play Silversmith plus hold up flip in one turn, but. Oh my god. Wait, was that even good for them? That would have been like a 2 2 menace? Maybe I should have let that resolve. No, I can't be greedy. Just need to get out of my hand while I can. Can I draw the plus one plus one tr or the plus two plus one trick for the win? That'd kind of be nice. Hold. Okay.
They have to jump with Brutal, so we're gonna be in a good spot here. Am I gonna win? <laughs> Old. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and of course, of course. Uh, okay, well. I'm done with best of one. I don't even know why I joined a best of one today. It's because I wanted harder competition, but... Oh, feels good, man. Tecmon Namcat! Uh, thanks for gifted five subbies! That brutal Cathar was absolutely brutal, but then... I mean, they played... Quite a few different rares that game. That's pretty funny. Yeah, they played, what, four different rares?